Hello, everybody, and welcome to what is unbelievably the last day of our Mary's mini program. Today is the last day. It's the grand finale, like they call it. And um, it's always, whenever we do the seven-day program or whenever I do another program that is like this, it's always a little bit sad to say uh, farewell. But it is, um, it really is not a goodbye or a farewell. What it is, it's um, until soon, because I know that I will see you all in some other program that I do in the um, seven day program that I do next month on my Facebook page, Dr. Starge, um, in your comments that you leave so kindly in my YouTube channel, uh, your emails. So I hope that it really is until soon and not a permanent goodbye. Um, I have received so many emails with stories, with testimonials, with questions, um, comments, that um, I thought it was going to be possible for me to share them with you today, but our session will at least last two hours. And, um, and it's not possible for many reasons. So here is my promise, okay? I am promising that um, I will make a video to answer your questions, to um, to read your your comments. Okay, let me let people in here. So I promise I will make a video uh, to answer those questions, read your comments, and share your stories because they are so inspiring. And I appreciate it. And please, um, today or tomorrow when you can, share your, send me an email. And I will never mention any names, okay? So I will, anytime I share, it's an anonymous way. And um, so, but please send me an email. And of course, today, at Later on, you all are welcome to unmute and share your experience. This was an experience. Okay, don't see it as a, oh, I didn't do good, I, I failed, or it wasn't as good. It was an experience, and it's one more to add to your life. And what uh, and 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 hopefully you will try it again, and you will. Uh, you, know, you, you will maybe do some changes and some improvements, but I think that we all have learned something about my, about ourselves. And um, so I will make this video, I will put it up on my YouTube channel. Just make sure so that you don't miss it, uh, that you are subscribed. And there is a little notification bell that you have to click on it to get the announcement when I upload the video. So make sure you do that. And that you, I have a Facebook page that is called um, Dr. Starch, all spelled out. And if you like it, if you like the page and from time to time you go and visit it because it may not come up automatically in your feed. If you visit it, I will upload it there as well, this video and along with other things that I upload. So I hope that you all received the gift that I sent you yesterday, it is a beautiful PDF that someone designed for me. Um, and it has six easy meal ideas. Um, and uh, if for some reason you didn't get it, check your mail, you know, check your spam, check your promotions, check other boxes because it's probably there. A very quick comment. Uh, that um, and just to answer one of the questions because um, this is short uh, short answer. How do you cook oat groats? Oat groats are delicious. Okay, they can be creamy um, and and fulfilling. They have, like I said, that is a true a true whole food. Um, steel cut oats would be the next step in the process because it's the oats that have been cut in half or in fourth. And the next day, the next step is rolled oats. All these are good. The only one that I would 
try not to buy is the instant ones because they're the most processed um, where the starch, I mean, where the, the fiber has been, and you know, it's not intact, it's quite processed. But if there, I mean, sometimes if I'm traveling and that's all I can find, then of course I will eat that. Um, but the oat groats, um, when you buy them, read read the package uh, really that's the best way but, but i can give you a few pointers since i make this often i make it savory most of the time with mushrooms and other things because i love it and i can add greens but if you can eat it as regular oatmeal with fruit if you um if you um let them soak overnight while you're sleeping. They can be soaking. Then they're going to cook faster. Okay. It also depends uh, where you buy your oat groats. Sometimes they cook faster than others, so you just have to check. Um, so soaking is an option. It also depends whether you cook them on a traditional stove top um, or if you use a pressure cooker. That that matters as well. Um, but oat groats is the one that takes longer to cook because you're cooking the whole grain, okay? So um, it's not, the consistency is not like brown rice. It's creamy, like almost, it can it can pass as risotto, okay? That's the, cons risotto is a pasta that is very creamy. And this oat groats, if you cook them long enough, it, it can actually taste like risotto if you like it. So, so you can make risotto, with oat groats, and it's going to be at 10 times healthier. Um, and so you cook them, uh, usually, if you do it in the instant pot, it may take um, 20 minutes or so. The best thing is to just set it for 15 minutes. Uh, when it's done, release the pressure, open it, check and see how they are. If not, do it, do another 10 minutes and do it like that. If you do it in the uh, cook them like I do many times regularly on the stove uh, top, then it'll, it, it can take um, up to, I mean, for me, it takes only 20 minutes also, but it can take half an hour to 40 minutes. It depends. You're going to have to, every five minutes or so, stir them. Um, if you put one cup of old growth, then you're going to need um, about two cups, I usually put three cups because uh, if I have any leftover or if they stay on the in the pot, they will keep absorbing water. That's what's really cool about these. So I find myself adding water later on if I have them um, left over because they keep uh, absorbing water and you want water and fiber for satiety. So you, you just um, have to experiment a little bit because uh, that's what I did. I experimented. I do have some videos cooking oat groats in my YouTube channel if you want to watch those. And um, I, I, if I, let me write it down. If I can, I will find them and, for you and I will put the link to the video in the email that will go out. Okay, that's about oat groats. So um, let's take about maybe 10 minutes or so for anybody here who would like to unmute um, and say something about what it was like to do this. I know that I, so many of you have written to me, so one of you, a couple of you wrote me and said that you lost 10 pounds. That's a, an average of a pound a day. I, I mean, that is amazing. Some of you have lost five pounds, seven pounds, etc. So if you would like to share something, I see that Jan has the microphone live. So go ahead and, um, and ask or share. I didn't lose anything. What I found out is I am a fruit addict. And when there was a question about fruits, I went and bought them. And so I was stuck having to eat fruits during this uh, time. So I'm going to do the 10 days all over again without fruit. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Um, it, that may be part of the um, uh, of the you know why you didn't uh, lose weight. So you, it would be worth. It would really would be worth um, trying. Yeah. Yeah. And I think and remember, 
what I said yesterday, make sure that with your starch, you're, you're eating enough greens. And I, at the beginning, either in the first or second se sessions, I gave you a list of several things that fall under the category of greens or any other non-starchy vegetable. Make sure that you have enough of those because sometimes that that's another reason that could be. Thank you. I also got up this morning and drank water like you suggested. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, keep in touch. If anything, anybody, um, if anything, what we all have done here is we have improved our health. Whether you lost one pound or zero pounds or 10 pounds, um, the, we have improved our health and hopefully you will continue so that your health and your inflammation levels, everything will decrease. So Gustavo, um, what I've learned in the past 10 days is this. Um, sticking with one starch for me right now at this point, because, you know, I've been doing it since January and it's just starting to click in my head about the whole remaining compliant through it all. And so I, I think that being that strict with myself was, was asking too much for me <laughs> because I'm a food addict. <laughs> so, um, I did lose two pounds in the 10 days, which I'm very happy with. And um, I did stick to starches, uh, like potatoes, sweet potatoes and rice. Um, and uh, like, I just feel so much better. I feel so happy about the weight loss. I haven't seen this weight in, well, it was long before my husband died. So that was eight years ago. So. Um, I really feel good. And I, I'm, I really love that you did it at this time of the year. I really needed that little boost because, you know, Christmas can be so traumatic for me as a food addict. I like, I, I shouldn't say food addict. I like, I'm a junk food addict. I like, I mean, I don't overeat vegetables or anything. So I'm not, I'm not waking up in the middle of the night want broccoli. <laughs> so it's junk food that, uh, and I find that even in the 10 days, like my cravings are less, I don't have like, I'm not craving chocolate or whatever. And if somebody's eating cake or whatever in front of me, I'm, I'm good. Uh, so, and also uh, waking up every morning and having two cups of hot water with lemon is really a kind of a game changer for me because Esther Loveridge really, she, she says that it's, it's just the thing that makes her feel clean inside. It's like a, a toxin releaser or something for your liver. And so I've been doing that and I like, I feel like my skin is like, I don't have any makeup on and my skin is kind of glowing. So anyway, I feel great. And I thank you for doing it at this time of the year. I know it must be very stressful for you as well to, to have a group at this time, but I'm, I'm so thankful that you did it. Thank you. Yeah. It's not stressful at all. And it was very good, but that's a great story. All right. Yeah, I, oh, I guess I'm on mute to turn I? Yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you too, because, um, I, my weight is where I want it to be, but what I fluctuate about maybe is about uh, three to five pounds. And so, um, I lost my three pounds again, but it seems like it stabilizes me to have the support group. It just keeps me where I want to be. And it definitely is good right before the holidays. Um, that way, when I make a uh, uh, a dish for our potluck, it'll be something within um, our whole food plant-based. And even though people seem to be supportive, I've noticed that there, there's kind of like, um, well, how long are you going to be on this? You know, well, yeah, this is a lifestyle. So it, it's, 
it's it's interesting to see responses and and that it doesn't bother me as much as it used to you know it's kind of like this is just the way it is get used to who i am but i feel good i really feel good eating this way and i was one of those that i really went simple i went i i had mashed potatoes practically every single day every single meal i mean i just love mashed potatoes and it it was like a really good way to um to enjoy my food and then just one one starch or a couple different non-starchy vegetables was great so thank you again <laughs> oh yeah that's great diane oh i'm so glad um i will share that you, you know i um I lost a lot of weight, so it's not easy to lose any uh, fast. And I and I'm past that point where I'm gonna get stressed. So, but I I know I I wanted to lose. I would like to lose ten or fifteen more pounds and then stop there. And um and I noticed that my clothes were feeling better, and so and so I lost three point four or three and a half, I should say. So I'm, I'm more than happy. I mean that's um. That's a, a big success, and which makes me think that perhaps instead of doing a Mary's Mini once a year, uh, I might do it two or three times a year, and I will invite you all to do it again. Okay, anybody else would like to um, unmute? And or I'm, I'm seeing comments here. Thank you for all you do, your uh, kindness, help. Well, well, you're welcome. I have, I'd love to do it. Okay, the timing, okay, good. I'm glad that the timing, I thought maybe the timing would not be good because of um, uh, of the hectic, uh, you know, hectic, hecticness, but uh, I'm glad that it is helping you. Okay, any um, anybody else would like to, Julie, would you like to say, I see your little hand there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, for me. <laughs> <laughs> for me this is like been really good timing too so i appreciate the timing and i feel so much better and i did like the simplicity i mostly enjoyed my newfound knowledge of this easiness with my food processor so i'm throwing my potatoes in getting them peeled cleaning them putting them in the dicer and they're ready so it's like you know no more chop this chop this chop which is fine i've done it i love it i'm just getting older i don't know uh and it just feels better that um it's i don't know it's it's just i like it so i mostly ate the hashed potatoes and then i made yesterday i made a really good um leek and potato and then i added cabbage to it because the cabbage has really been like oh cabbages have been talking to me so it's just so wonderful that that's what's talking to me this time of year because my whole life has been like enjoying food you know and it it's related to now this is when you're with people so in my mind you know the sweets like enjoying the sweets not just food so those things always call to me so i'm sort of breaking that and putting new you know associations like i feel good it's not like you know i eat this stuff because i'm with people and then i have to like sleep it off for three days or something i just wasn't even aware of the effects um and so yeah i feel really good i i still haven't weighed myself and i really think i'm going to just continue because um at my age it's perfect for me just have them have some potatoes even though this morning i'm a little still hungry because my I somehow didn't get the instant pot to work. And so it beeped and like the potatoes aren't cooked. So I don't know what I did wrong. So I had cauliflower and broccoli. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm almost doing your program. So that there's a day of veggies here, which um, I even feel that much better because it feels like I'm getting a cold. I'm having all these uh, skin reactions and sneezing and stuff. So hopefully this is going to help oh. beat it. So yeah, right. being with everybody, seeing everybody's good ideas and your, your support is monumental thank you so much oh yeah yeah well you all can continue you know we we i wanted to do it 10 days because after today it starts to get hectic and i get guests and stuff but um but we it's it's something that you all can do for longer long way longer period periods of, of time 
Anybody else? Uh, many of you say that you feel more energy, which of course it's uh, it's true because we, you, what you're getting is you're getting less insulin resistance. The glucose is actually going inside your cells like it's supposed to, and and that is the the source of energy. So that's great. I'm so one of you says I'm down five pounds. Great, wonderful. Anything that's going down is better, or if it, even if it stayed. But uh, maybe you lost some fat that it's a little bit better. There's never a little when you lose actual fat. The thing is that hopefully you didn't go up. And if you did, you let me know and I'll help you figure out what to, to do to change that. Anybody else? Any other comments or questions? Um, one of you asked me if, uh, this is the pro I promise the last question I can answer. One of you asked me if I know of any in-person programs like this. Um, really, the, really the only in-person that I am aware of is uh, True North Health Center, where you go in person and you choose whether you want to stay five days, seven days, you know, a month, three months, six months, whatever you want to stay. Um, the McDougal program is wonderful. It's 12 days, but it's not in person anymore. Uh, Dr. Ornish, um, I featured this wonderful book and, and um, in my book club, and he was a guest. If you want to go and watch it, um, he has a program, but it's also online. Uh, Dr. Esselstein, uh, they do programs every now and then online, and they do like this um, mini retreats every now and then, but at, like a regular thing that is in person, um, I don't know of any, uh, so if any of you do, you can let me know. And then there is my program, uh, which is seven days. It's probably the shortest of all because I want people to be able to um, get all the results in a, in a short time, okay? And um, it really has all the components of the other programs. The only component that you don't have in my program is that I don't provide medical care. I'm not going to tell you to change your medication or give you a prescription or anything like that. Um, but sometimes I have doctors, guests, and maybe you can also be hopefully stay in touch with your doctor to change medications that you have pretty much that other programs um, have. The, uh, the thing, uh, one of the major things is that my program is about 10 to 15 times less expensive. And um, so you could try that and see if it works. It's been working for just about everybody and if it for some reason doesn't, then you can try the, the more expensive ones. So let me uh, take this as a way to, um, to um, share with you. Um, well, let me first share with you as, um, just a few slides here because they, uh, I don't want to not show them. So um, yeah, this is the grand finale. I am at the top of this mountain uh, here that I love to climb. Uh, I've climbed it several times, sometimes uh, I've climbed it with teenagers who can't do it as fast. <laughs> and I'm saying, hey, it's the potato power, okay? I'm almost 60 years old and I can do it faster. <laughs> anyway, this is the 10 days. And um, so one of you sent me this. It says, I had made the potatoes with carrots and celery. When soup was mentioned, I decided to try a soup using homemade veg broth. The potato mixture, um, the, uh, the, protection, the potato mixture, and add shredded cabbage, kale, and Brussels sprouts. I'm not good with seasoning, but I added enough for it to have some flavor. Okay, great. Very good. All right. Uh, this other one here soup with veggie broth, mushrooms, potatoes, and broccoli. Yum. Yes, it does. Very yummy because I love all those things mushrooms, <laughs> broccoli, and of course, potatoes. And one of you sent me this, which I think is so cute. 
And I added this that says the humble potato can save your life. And so um, positive potato. I may be a tiny potato, but I believe in you. Go do your thing. Okay. And uh, so I, I do have, uh, this is something that, on, that truly I wasn't going to do because I didn't have time to prepare it. And so I was up until midnight last night with my web designer um, preparing this um, thing, this little gift that I'm going to give you. But it's only going to last until tomorrow night. Okay, tomorrow is Thursday, December 21st. And it's going to last until midnight Pacific time. Okay, this is, uh, like I said, I really was not going to do this, but um, you, you have inspired me. Before I tell you what it is, please remember to always look in your spam box or in your promotions box or other boxes or folders because mass emails like the ones I send sometimes or even a single email, uh, these are sometimes not allowed to enter your inbox because of filters. You can try to whitelist my email address, which is info at plantemas.com or it could be plantemas at gmail.com or bornforhealth at gmail.com. If you whitelist these, then you'll get emails. Otherwise, just keep checking your other boxes, not only your inbox. And if you ever sign up for anything that will have a Zoom link, it will most likely not go to your inbox. So always check for anything else. So um, let me tell you what this is. And um, and there's no pressure at all, but um, I am going to show you here. This is what I was working on uh, last night. And uh, this is my website, okay? Um, and when you go to webinars here, it's plantemus.com, and you go to live workshops, this was not going to be up until January 1st. Okay, so now you made me work. I'm glad I did it because now I, I, I was procrastinating this because it was a lot of work, but now it's up and running. This is the next seven day program. Okay, and it's affordable. Like I told you, it's 10 or even 15 times cheaper than any, you know, less expensive than any other place. Uh, it's in real time or with replays. And it's for those of you who have tried everything and failed or um, whatever you do, you can't lose weight or, or sometimes you get excited and then the old habits settle back in or you like to do something like this together with other like-minded people. Um, you know, so this is for you. And so this program um, combines the best of what I've learned in 10 years. And basically it is knowing how to make meals with three or four ingredients that are easy and inexpensive to buy, to, to buy. Uh, logging in two times a day, once in the morning so that we all get started with the right food for the day. And then once at night, which seems to be the most challenging time for most of us, we will either want to eat non-compliant food or we want to uh, eat late. And the, Lunchtime doesn't seem to be a problem at all because um, we, we are, you know, on, the, on a roll. And then uh, you just receive support from me and everybody else in the group and the sessions are interactive. I offer it, this program every other month. So it's going to be January, then March, May, et cetera, like that. So six times a year. And... Um, and this is what the cost is. Usually any other program is going to be $3,000 or above. And mine is $297 per person if you register singly. If you single, if you register like you many of you did last year for all six, then you basically will get a free, a free program. You don't pay for one. Um, and there are discounts if you, if you um, register for two or for three or for four or for five. Or you can, every time, you can just register you know, singly for one, one at a time. Okay, and so um, those of you, there are a 
a couple of hundreds of you who have taken the seven day program before, if you have taken it before, even if it's one time, you will receive a 50% discount. There is a code that, uh, that you have to enter it and I'll share it with you. Okay. And there's also for those of you who um, have, are, have not taken the program before and don't co qualify for the 50% discount, I have a limited number of scholarships that I give myself and also some of the money that you've donated, I, I share it and I offer some scholarships. Okay, you, you would have to send me an email to that email info at Plantemas to inquire. Here are the six dates of all programs. And um, what I'm announcing now, this is the, the big you know, gift, is that for those of you who are here in this program, even if you haven't taken the seven day program, you will also qualify. I'm giving you the 50% discount and, um, and it lasts until tomorrow, month, until tomorrow night, Thursday. After that, I am sorry, it will be taken down. Okay. Because again, I, I wasn't going to do this, but I really appreciate you've all been a great group. So I'm giving this 50% off. For all of you who have signed up for Mary's Mini, if you're watching this on YouTube later on and you didn't sign up for Mary's Mini, I'm sorry, you, you won't qualify. And maybe you can sign up for next time. You will. You can still write to me um, to see if, I, if there's any financial aid or you can just sign up at the regular uh, price with these discounts that you have there. Okay, so um, here is how you do it. Okay, you go to the bottom of the page. PayPal doesn't allow me to do discounts. So you can see if you if you sign up for two programs, three programs, four programs, that's that that's that's the the, uh, the price with the discounts that are up here. Okay, that includes that. But it, PayPal does not allow coupons or anything like that. So if you want the 50% off, what you're going to do, let's say that you want to sign up for all six, okay? And it takes you here and it says add promotional code. So um, let's see. Uh, put the code and I will still continue to do many free videos. I will upload free videos. I might do sometime in the middle of the year, another 10 day uh, easy meal uh, webinar kind of thing. And so we will be in touch. Okay, any, uh, let's see, any other questions that you may have or last comments before we finish? I thank you and immensely for signing up and for your comments and your pictures and for everything, it's been great. And I see that Anne has the hand up and go ahead, Anne, and then Lorraine has something else, I think. Hi, um, I did your seven daily long time ago when I was learning about all of this. So it's good to see you. I do say though that I rediscovered during this that I have a problem with starches. <laughs> um, that whole thing about each greens First is a good idea for me because um, I will overeat potatoes. And uh, I especially like your potato, butternut, squash, garlic in the Instant Pot mash, which my family has had too. But uh, so what I ended up doing, because I was actually just eating too much starch and not enough of the other stuff, but I found that if I added and I know it wasn't on my plan, but we have to think about individuality. And because I've lost most of the weight, well, actually, I've lost all of it. You know, it's just like, am I going to get smaller or not? I'm not sure. Um, and uh, so adding a few black beans, it, it, it helped. Somehow it evened things out for me. Like Lorraine was saying, there's certain things you got to do. And um, I didn't do it at first. And I was kind of like just eating my starches and eating my starches and grabbing a potato. <laughs> and uh, so that helped to even things out. Um, so thank you. But then the other thing I wanted to say is um, because we're going to the holidays right now, I just thought I'd put in, don't forget to pimp. 
And I don't know if people know what that is that are new here, but pimp is potato in your pur in my purse. And I've done that before. I've even gone to um, uh, a, a class reunion and I had a hot sweet potato in my purse and in the parking lot, I ate it before I went in. And so don't feel bad about that. Laugh about it. Nobody will know you're doing it and who cares, right? You're doing it for your health and you know when you walk in there, they're going to be eating garbage. So, and the other thing is um, I'm meeting with my friends today and um, they're not vegan, but uh, uh, one of them is sensitive to what I do. She's a good friend, right? And so we're going to this place that has a, a huge bar. It's got everything, including all the desserts and ice cream and the whole works, right? But they do have a salad there and they do have things there and they have a baked potato that you can get. So what I do when I go is I take my dressing and you see my container, this is salsa and black beans. And I get that and I pour it on those potatoes and, um, they're always surprised to see because I have like two or three, you know, plates because they have these little plates. Right. And I yeah, have my yeah. all my salad stuff on there and um, I have to put some of it, the stuff that's going to fall off of the greens on another plate so I can mix it while I'm eating because there is no way to do it otherwise. And then I have my potato in a bowl and then I just dump this there. And um she taught That's me another nice. thing, uh, another thing to pass along is um, she taught me this, that you can take like I've got a, a microwavable, they're the, the white mugs that come from, oh, what is that company? You know what I'm talking Cor about? Corelware, Cor Corning, Corning. And they've got a lid on them too. And if you stop at some of the gas stations that have a microwave, you just go in and they will let you use their microwave just like they would for a baby bottle or something. And um, just go in and heat your stuff and go back out in the car or go to the mall and sit in their food court and eat. Just do what you have to do because it's for your health. So have a happy holiday, everyone. You too, Gustavo. Thank you. Yes, yes. Well, happy holidays to everybody. And here, for those of you who are here now live, nobody else will see this later. Um, It'll be cut off. Um, here is the the code. Um, if you want to use it, um, write it down. And uh, uh, later, you know, if you want to go to my website and, and and sign up for anything and use that code, that will give you fifty percent off. And um, again, I hope that uh, this has given you tools to survive the holidays, to succeed, and. Um, and uh, well, I do. I do hope to see you in some form uh, in 2024. And yes, go ahead, Myra. And 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 I see that you have your microphones on. Ah, there we go. Hi, I wanted to ask a question about the um, the detox. As usual, I my schedule is so crazy. I can't commit. Can, if I want to just sign up for two and pick the dates later is that possible is there a good, way good to question do that? yes what i what i do later on you can read all the text what i do is i don't put a time limit so you have access to the recordings permanently you never have to worry about oh it's going to expire so, yeah gustavo do you still plan to come to canada in may yes when i have a min a free minute to uh you know, I had planned, I had, I had drawn, you know, I have a lot of the details down, but then I had my long, one month long trip, then I had this. So I'll get to work on that and I will, I'll, I'll get in touch with you and with the group. And by the way, when you take the seven day program, there is a, a support group attached to that where we meet every Sunday to, so that we can actually continue uh, you know, inspiring ourselves and, and, and encouraging to stay on track. But yes, we're, I'm planning this trip to Canada and uh, to, but eating, you know, the way we eat and visiting that beautiful place and especially a place that I've been wanting to see for years, which is Prince Edward Island. 
and all of you will be invited to to join i'll just be sending information later on when i have more details but thank you lorraine for asking god bless everybody have the happy christmas thank you gustavo thank you yes thank you again and uh, I'm very happy holidays to everybody. Bye-bye.